Hey besties, so I was asked to show how to set up a banded pull up. So that's what we're gonna do today. And before we start, check out this cute shirt I'm wearing. I got it from Family Dollar for five dollars. So check out your nearest Family Dollar. I'm gonna show you how to do a squat rack. So there's two ways that it can be done. Um, one is like strictly for a squat rack, and the other you can do it just on um, if your gym has one of those like double gyms that just have like the pull up bars. You can do the second option on that. So for the first option, we're going to change these little spotters and we're going to put them down a little bit more i do it like around my waist area so here are the stoppers and you'll need your bands you put it on there and you just put your band on there like so come up put your foot on there and do your pull-ups that's one way and you can add as many bands you need uh when you're first starting out you might need more than one band so you can just Stack them up like this if you need a little bit more help getting up. And the second option, what we're going to do, put your band up here. And we're going to loop it through. And this is the one you'll usually see me do if you have watched my content. This is the one I usually do myself. And it just loops through. And you pull it down. And put your foot through. And you're pulling. So those are the two options for banded pull-ups. The first one you'll definitely need a squat rack, but the second one you won't need a squat rack. You just do it on a pull-up bar. And um, I really like both options. The first option might be easier to start with because it's a little bit less intimidating to put your foot there and you're not worried about pulling the band down and putting your foot through. I feel like it kind of requires a little bit of coordination, which my clumsy self did not have at first. But both options are really great for you to start pull-ups and getting your way up to unbanded pull-ups. So, hope that helps.